Welcome back. Today we're back with a project. I'm making a new drone frame um, and we're going to rapid prototype it with my laser cutter. I can get by using sheets of wood. I have like three mil plywood. It's very uh, reasonable in cost versus sheets of carbon fiber. Um, a sheet of carbon fiber is roughly like $80 for the thickness I want to use on this frame and uh, a sheet of wood is like five dollars so we're gonna test it with the the wood instead and then i can test fit all my pieces and all my components to make sure i like how it lays out so yeah let's uh let's get over to the computer i'll show you guys what i'm gonna cut out first and then we'll uh go from there all right so here we have our um updated drone frame here's the old frame plates that i didn't really uh like uh the drone didn't fly right though the arm positioning wasn't really good so uh, here's the new drone design. This is an H-frame design. Um, I've got some motor mounts here that I also need to cut out and test fit. Uh, we'll test it with the motors. And then, yeah, a relatively lightweight, thinner frame. Uh, it's pretty long though, so it's gonna take up quite a bit of material. I think about like 450 millimeters tall on this one. Um, but I should be able to fit a pair of these on a sheet of wood, I think. I got some three mil sheets of wood I'll probably use for prototyping. Here's the top plate section that I'm gonna put up over the electronics here, and then here's the motor mount. So let's go in the shop and cut out some parts. All right, we're back out here at the shop. We're just about to get ready to cut this stuff. I got my board in there, I got my piece framed up, and I even got a GoPro in there so you guys can see what it looks like when it cuts. So uh, here's the program. What we're cutting here, that's what we're doing. Let's give it a shot. finished. Put the smoke clear. I got the fan to turn on for another 10 seconds to clear out the smoke. And here we are guys. Looking awesome. Might have to, might have to grab a couple of the parts that fell down. There she is. Let's pull out some parts. These are pretty big actually. I didn't realize how big this was going to be. It's going to be a cool drone, I think. Top plate turned out pretty cool. Kind of neat. Push out the motor mounts. Here's the motor mount. So, let's, uh, I'll show you guys what it kind of looks like as we put things together. So, let's go to the, I don't know, the workbench, I guess. All right, we're on the bench. I got it built up and she went together real smooth. Honestly, it went really, really well. I used a lot more standoffs than I thought I was gonna use. I did have to tweak the motor mount a little bit. I installed this initially and I'm like, oh no, it's not gonna work. The screws where I had them placed on the first motor mount actually came in contact with the arm and it wouldn't allow it to sit flat. So I did make a tweaked version. And then I also beefed these up too. These are rather small. I went two millimeters bigger on every side just to give it a little more uh, material. And then I tilted the motor screws a little bit and then got rid of the other two holes because I'm only gonna use two per motor. That's all you need. But yeah, they just slot right into the arm. Kind of a friction fit deal. Once you tighten these bottom bolts, it uh, snugs in really well. And then the same on the frame as well. But yeah, flight controller ESC can go in the middle. Pretty much any holes that you dictate. Um, I'm gonna play around with some like movement on all those electronics just to figure out where things sit best um but right now it's just a mock-up anyways i'm probably going to continue to keep building up on this platform just because it'll be a like you'll be able to drop all the electronics right under the new frame 
So there's really no sense in doing the carbon one quite yet because if I do find tweaks, I can make the final adjustments before I cut everything out of carbon. But yeah, there's my process of uh, rapid prototyping. Uh, the laser's a really great tool to have in the shop and it actually saved me a lot of money and time just by doing this because I already made one screw up on the motor mounts, you know, and then the overall time savings is huge on it. It only took me like three minutes to cut all these parts, which is insane. On a CNC, probably take about 30 minutes and if I were to try to 3d print it which I can't on the, those main plates I can't even 3d print they're just too big <clears throat> at least for my printer um but yeah to 3d print these plates it would have taken hours so yeah the time savings on a laser is pretty impressive let me know if you guys have any questions on any of this and I'll try to make more videos like this in the future thanks for watching bye